afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching me from. It's a delight to join here on this platform, Sita Church Online. My name is Tavi and I'm delighted. 2024, Happy New Year. How are you doing? Now, I want to speak to you on an interesting topic, how to navigate through toxic environments. And uh, I was just reading the story of Daniel and this is where I got um, all this wisdom. Daniel is really a great model of how to navigate um, toxic environment. Now, toxic environment can be really distracting and they can be really draining. You can, when you live in a toxic environment, you feel you're always and constantly in fear, looking over your shoulder, not knowing who is for you and who is not for you. And it can really be draining. It can really distract you from the goal and from the focus. And that is why you need to know how to navigate so that you remain focused to the goal and to the calling that you have from the Lord. And so when I read from Daniel, one of the things that I see from the book of Daniel, Daniel lived in a very toxic environment in Babylon. There were always people who were watching, you know, to sabotage him, to plot against him. There is always a battle that is waging uh, somewhere around the corner for, for Daniel. How did he navigate in that uh, environment? From the time we are introduced to this man called Daniel, we see that he is a prayerful man. And so I just want to talk to you about prayer as a strategy to navigate through toxic environment. And as you pray, I want to give you three things that you should pray. And I see this in the life of Daniel. You should pray for when you notice that you're in a toxic environment. Number one, you should pray for discernment. You should pray for discernment. Discernment is the ability to discern or to understand God's will in particular instance or circumstance or situation. Because if you don't understand God's will, you might act or respond based off the circumstances that you're in. And it is important that you pray for discernment. Discernment keeps you alert. It keeps you sober minded. When God grants you discernment, this will be one of your strategy to navigate through toxic environment and you can ask God to grant you discernment. Number two, pray for wisdom and tact. Daniel navigated the environment of Babylon through wisdom. Wisdom is the ability to make proper judgments so that you're not responding to issues by emotions. You know, I have been there, done that until the Lord taught me what I am teaching you today. That you don't have to respond to, uh, to your emotions or the feelings of what people are doing or saying about you. You need to know what to respond to and what to leave alone. What battles to uh, engage in and what to let go of. What to confront and what to ignore. That can come from wisdom. And when you, de uh, when you have wisdom from God, you will have better judgments to determine what you need to do in one particular time from another. Thirdly, what you need to pray for is protection. Ask God for protection. The goal of the enemy is not just to distract you. It's not just to make you lose focus. It's not just to fill you with fear. It's not just to drain you. The goal of the enemy is listed there in John chapter 10 and verse 10. He comes to kill, steal, and to destroy. What the enemy wants to do to you. It is to ultimately destroy the plan of God in your life or bring you to a place of destruction so that you will not be able to accomplish what God called you to do. And so what you do is prayer invites the protection of God. The psalmist said, the one who dwells in the shelter of the Most High God will remain in the shelter of, his, of the Most High God in that protection. You need to ask God to redirect the arrows that are fashioned against you. The people will want to throw you into the fire just like they did uh, the da Daniel and his colleagues. They want to throw you in the pits of, of lions so that you are destroyed. And you will need to invite the protection of God through prayer so that he can shut the, mou uh, the mouths of lions, so that he can stay the heat of the fire and so that he can protect you ultimately. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 13 says, Pray so that you will be able to stand your ground in the day of evil. Listen to me. The day of evil might be every day in your office, every day in your, at your home, every day in school, wherever it is that you spend most of your time. 
But when you are prayed up, you will have the ability to navigate through this toxic environment so that you remain focused to what God is doing and what is calling you to do. So pray for discernment, pray for wisdom, and pray for protection. And pray at all times in the spirit and in the power of the Most High God. God bless you, and I pray that you win in whatever battle you are facing. God bless you.